and welcome back. So here we are. Navi, I do not care about that torch. You can keep showing it to me, and I will keep telling you that I do not care. And let's see. Alright, we got plenty of arrows. Actually, let me switch. There we go. So I think I need this. Okay. Now, I am going to have to probably leave the temple to find a... Um, to get myself a fairy, but that'll be at a later time. Well... There that one goes. Come on. Reveal yourself. Come on. I don't want to waste all day. I like that I can see arrows like impaled in things, but I can't collect them. So it's just kind of like, there we go. There we go. Alright. First we get the arrow. Then we do this. Very nice, very nice. Yay! Actually, I think... I should be able... Yes, I think there's a great fairy fountain near the exit here. I'm going to have to go and investigate that one. I see there's a couple of chests. Ah, here we go. A key. Alright, let's see about this. Done, and I don't have any more keys. So let's see. Oh, nothing really going on here. Oof, okay. Here. I think I was getting ahead of myself going through that going through that route. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Alright, let's go back the way we came. Which is silly and a waste of time. I guess there's nothing more in those pots for me. going. Backtracking. Oh, uh, wait. That's right, there is a reason to backtrack, because now we can do something different when we get over here. Hooray, I think? Eight arrows, I got 20 some. Oh god, now he's going to tell me the obvious. We just saw it get uncrooked. Oh good, she's keeping her mouth shut. At a girl. Just as she should.
just as she should. Ooh, we got the boss key. I think I'm making some progress. I got two of the pose defeated. Now I'm outside again. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's, uh, don't need to go through that room again. Uh-oh. Please be a key. All right. Magic. Oh no, don't even tell me. I, okay. This is how it's going to be, isn't it? So let's climb up here again. This this is annoying. I forgot how much backtracking you had to do. Or maybe it's not even that I had to do a lot of backtracking, I just forgot how much backtracking I had to do. I don't know. I do know I'm tired of this room. And I do know I want to defeat all enemies. Alright, let's climb up. Again. This time. Oh. Hearts, please. Okay. Here we go. Hearts, please. No hearts. So I don't think it's as important. I think we have to re crooked the room. There we go. Uh Dios mío. Let's get through this. Yes, Navi, I see it. I don't care about it, but it's there. Okay. Ooh, what's in these? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Finally, get through this doorway. Okay. In this creepy room, why do we have something like this in a temple? Oh. Alright. So, the gist here.
The gist here is to, if you don't have the fire arrow already, which why would you? And you effectively, oh, I guess not. I was going to say you effectively waste arrows, but no. All right, let's see. Okay, a heart and some more arrows. Hearts are good. You have to pay attention to how many hearts you have, because you forget that you don't have a lot of fairies yet. Watch out, the ceiling is falling down. Alright. So first, just to save on ammo. Really? Where's our next one at? Come on. There we go. Go to where the treasure chest is. It should be okay right here for the time being. Oh my god. I know it's not a race, but here we go. if you don't get it fast enough. And I guess this piece is to like deceive you or throw it off.
How am I missing a point blank? There we go. Awesome. Alright. Jump. For joy. Alright, let's see. Otherwise, we have the map, the compass, and the key. So the purple one was here the whole time. That's right, the one that appears. Alright, the one that circles is the real one. Let's do this. Ugh. there. So let's... Alright, let me just do something really quickly. Um, Alright. Right, so I did use a trick that I knew worked in the N64 version. I was glad it still works in the 3D version. So what you do is you just warp twice to the forest so you can get the... Um, Gossip Stone to produce a parry if you play a opponent's song, so I got two parries in my jars, and I am ready to go now. Alright, so... 
Let's see. Oh, I kind of remember this. I was never fond of this particular one. Alright, so... Nothing here. Alright. Got a bundle of arrows. Like... Because of Breath of the Wild, I'm now attuned to thinking one arrow is one arrow, so when I see, like, yeah, just because that's how Breath of the Wild worked. Let's see, that's there. That's there. Alright, I never liked this one because I always forget where I was. Oh, okay, here's one. Okay, so, let's just keep on spinning. I have no way of knowing where what is, so, let's hope for the best. Let's just keep on pushing. that and then so we're gonna push towards the blue all right uh, and there's that got this one now so we'll just keep on Oh, I like that you can actually see scrapings on the floor from, like, the stone moving. Alright, let's just keep pushing it in the one direction, then. That might have been there in the N64 version, but who knows if I remember. Here we go. Finally, I got it. Alright, now before we go into fight the boss of bosses, to which I'm actually going to just move my N6, uh, my, um, oh wow. Ooh, I don't remember paintings like this. Huh. It looks like... I wonder if there are, like, hints to anything. But in any case, so let me just save as always before going in. I'm going to have to especially focus on my uh, 3DS screen, so this way I'm not looking at the computer screen, which is a much clearer picture. But here we go. There we go. In fact, let me plug in my 3DS so this way I can get the clearest picture. Uh oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to focus. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to get bored and try to leave. Oh, no. You mean I cannot leave? Why, whatever shall I do? <gasps> it's the dude from that day. He hasn't changed at all, but he was already a grown-up, so... Oh, but wait! Oh, you work for the Happy Mask Salesman, too? Evil Spirit from Beyond, Phantom Ganon. Alright. Here he comes. And there he goes. Where might aha, here he comes.
Alright, let's see. Here he comes. Ah! I forgot about that. But I remember this part. This wasn't so bad. Why does it feel like... Ah, oh, come on. Quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill, but you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I shall banish it to the gap between dimensions. Oh my. Oh my. The gap between dimensions. How cool. Alright, so where's... Here we go. I didn't die! <laughs> Alright. And here we go. The Chamber of Sages. I'm back. Should... Like, it, where does Raru even go? Thank you. Because of you, Bill, I could awaken as a sage. I am sorry of the sage of the Paris Temple. You kind of already knew your name, Tuts. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me, because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now please take this medallion that does nothing. Here we go. You received the forest medallion. Saria awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. But I don't really get any buffs or anything. She just kind of. I will always be your friend. 90s. The dude. So the great Deku tree is closed up now? Um. Oh boy. <laughs> Deku Tree Sprout! Because you and Saria break the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish! Thanks a lot! Hey! Have you seen your old friends? None of them recognize you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kukiri never grow up, even after seven years, they're still kids! You must be 
you wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are, a, you are not a Kokiri. You're actually a Hylian. I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Oh, boy. So how is a kid that just sprouted knowing all- okay. I suppose because he's part of the Deku tree. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered the Forbidden Forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child, you, to the Deku tree. The Deku tree could sense that this was a child of destiny whose fate would affect the entire world, so it took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kukiri, and now finally the day of destiny has come. Okay. Still looks like the dude. You are a Hylian and were always bound to leave the forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. Not really. That's right, you must see the land of Hyrule. Okay. Now, Bill, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule! No, Navi. It was a surprise to learn that Saria is one of the sages, wasn't it, Bill? I wonder how she knew. Anyway, off to the Temple of Time. Alright. We're done talking with you. Alright, we'll head to the Temple of Time. And... I can't quite fast travel there yet. I know there is a way to do so. However, just to make things a little less annoying for you guys, let's see, are the monsters gone from here yet? They are. Okay. So let's see if I can still collect a ruby for making this jump. Now, nah, only as a kid can you do that. I'm not really interested in talking to them. So, alright. Once I get out to the, um... to the field. I'm just going to pause it until I can get to the Temple of Time. But let's just see. No owl, no owl, no owl, no owl. Yes! Alright, I'm just going to pause it until I get to the uh, Temple of Time. Right, here we are. Just a few more moments and then we'll be at the Temple of Time. On Navi's request. I like how that one's just chill, whereas the other ones, they're just kind of standing there waiting for you, but that one's like, nah, I'm not going to do that. So, let's just go into the Temple of Time. Look at Death Mountain. Just look at it. Alright. Here we go. Alright. I'll check out the uh, Mega Gossip Stone after I'm done playing. So here we are. At the Temple of Time. Again. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return your, to your original time, return the Master Sword to the Pedestal of Time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. If you want to challenge the mighty foes you defeated again, make for the bed in your childhood home. In the realm of dreams, you should be able to face them anew. Oh, this is a new feature. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. <clears throat> there we go. Ugh. And now light shimmers down in the Temple of Time, magically. Whoa, it's sparkly again! It amazes me every time! You have learned the Prelude of Light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Bill, we shall meet again. And flash bomb!
Alright, make sure to hit those links below to follow me on social media. Make sure to give this video a like, do subscribe, and check out my other videos.